Hey everyone, welcome to a walkthrough of the Inverted Spire, the Destiny 2 strike uh, included in the beta. Uh, strikes are pretty straightforward, this one is really no different. Uh, kill some enemies, activate a checkpoint, and repeat until you get to the boss. Uh, but being this is a new game, and even though everybody's seen this strike a couple hundred times already, I figured uh, this might help a few of you guys out to kind of explain how things are going as we uh, go along in this one. So to start off, we're killing enemies. It's a combination of the Cabal and the Vex. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Once we take all the enemies out, a uh, complex will pop up, uh, which you then use the Ghost to activate. All pretty standard stuff. And this triggers the path forward, which leads us to a uh, transfer gate or a boost gate, whatever you prefer. So you're just going to jump through these and follow them to the next area. On your right, a waterfall of Vex. Enjoy the Vex milk scenery. Uh, there are a few Cabal Snipers in this uh, area, you want to be careful of that. Depending on what character you're using, uh, what weapon loadouts, etc, you can take these guys out from a distance, otherwise you might have to get a little bit closer. Uh, as I'm on the Hunter here, I have a Sniper, so I can pick a few guys off from a distance before moving up. And then same thing, jump through, get boosted over to the next uh, area, the other side. and follow this into a darkness zone. Is it weird I look at that light and I think Now here we kind of get the uh, first look post. at the verticality of the maps. Uh, large open spaces. Kind of I mean you're, you're basically ending up in the same spot but you uh, can kind of approach this a little bit differently. You can take enemies out from up top or you can jump down. Um, Really, again, it depends on your loadout, depends on what your teammates are doing. So you can drop down there if you want, uh, get straight into the fight, or you can start up here and snipe a few people before moving down after that. In this space, it was the uh, Cabal and Vex combo again, and then once you clear them, obviously press forward. into the next area what could the red legion possibly be drilling for which again uh, this takes you back outside this again kind of shows off the verticality of the map you can see there's a couple different ways to approach it but yes in the end you're still going to the same spot uh, so really it just uh, kind of opens up options for weapons but you're still doing the same thing, just going forward, killing enemies, etc. Now we're back on the ground. A couple enemies to pick off here. Again, you're just following the uh, the waypoint path kind of diverges here, but again, it all goes to the same area. Very large uh, open map. Definitely like it. It's definitely a change from the uh, typical Destiny Strike. Although, again, even though the objectives don't change too much, uh, it's a nice change of, change of pace. For this section here, you're going to have uh, drill officers in either bunker up ahead. Uh, you want to take both of them out. Doing so like this will open the next way forward. Which is uh, essentially pulling a lever and then jumping through another gate and being boosted to the other side. You are both depressing and unhelpful. And you can go through the uh, left or right side. 
figured I'll just jump across and make use of that since teammates are going this way. I'll have some enemies waiting for you on the other side, but they're grouped up pretty nicely so you can make pretty quick work of them. Never get tired of the effects in this game. And we drop down. We to fight some gladiators and some cabal dogs. Warpies, as the game calls them, but I'm calling them cabal dogs until something else better comes along. Oh, these gladiators can be kind of tough. You want to make sure you keep uh, your distance from them. More ads will spawn in. You can see uh, in our objective we're waiting for the transit system to reset itself. Then we can boost into the next area once again. Uh, here's a look at the Cabal Dogs. They're no joke either. You get uh, trapped in a pack of them and they can take you down pretty quick. Another group here. A couple uh, mini boss type enemies that you will run across. Pick him out. See, our objective is almost completed here. I hope this is safe. And there we go. Pick up some uh, some ammo where you can, and move on to the next area. And be careful of this. You can. You can't kill yourself here, as you can see, the uh, teammate didn't make the jump, so be aware of that. Uh, and after that, again, we're moving forward. There's a few enemies before this part, uh, but essentially the same thing. Kill some enemies, move forward. Another mini-boss type uh, enemy here. And then we will move into the drill site proper. like this one bit. Now this section uh, can be a little tricky when you're fighting enemies but pretty much if it looks like a path it is a path and you're safe to go that way. So you got some enemies to deal with here otherwise uh, just be aware of where the the drills are so they will one-shot you. Neat trick here, well, not really a neat trick, but uh, one tactic is to, st to stay uh, on the upper path and you kind of avoid some of the enemies down below and stay out of the way of the drill. Uh, as you can see here, I'm on the top of the top of the level here. I can just drop down to the objective now, having avoided some of the enemies and the uh, drills below. So here we are on the final stretch to the boss fight. And this is a little bit different than uh, standard strike bosses. Um, as the attacks kind of change up, the more the fight progresses, so it's kind of good to be aware of what to expect in certain areas uh, and how to deal with it. So you drop down, kill the harpies, that will start up the boss fight. Have a uh, mini Atheon here. You would think you could shoot him in the stomach, but that's not his weak point, not yet anyways. So in this first part here, you're just doing uh, damage to the boss, taking out adds, uh, there's going to be plenty of harpies. You also want to be aware of the boss, uh, he will start kind of walking around the uh, level. Won't really care where you're at, so do keep an eye on your mini-map, make sure you're aware of where everything is. And once you do enough damage, he will erase the floor from underneath us and progress into the second part of the fight. You can see you want to land carefully otherwise the fall will kill you. So here uh, stands in the middle should be doing his attack in a minute here. There we go. This is kind of like a uh, floor is lava type attack. Uh, these those flames on the ground will either do a lot of damage to you or kind of launch you out into the uh, Vex Melk surrounding this uh, circle here. Uh, both of which will do damage, so you want to be aware of that, kind of either be in the air or uh, actually those pillars 
Uh, the one that you just saw me on can kind of keep you safe from that. Not 100% positive on that, but it seemed to work for me. And once again, you're just doing damage to the boss, keeping an eye on the adds. You can kind of use the pillars for cover, which uh, is pretty helpful in the final section as well. We're doing pretty good damage to him, should be ready to progress to the next. And so the third and final phase, the floor will disappear again. Send us down onto the final stage. Once again, we've got Vex Milk surrounding us, which will do damage to us. Uh, this one's a little bit more open, and again, he will kind of walk around in the arena itself, so you have to be aware of what he's doing. For now, he stays on the outside. We're just doing damage to him. Uh, some Vex adds will be spawning in right here. And then once he circles around to the other side, we'll have more Vex spawn in. You can see he's walking into the arena there. you got to be careful of that. You can see he's in his uh, final, final form now. And again, these pillars will keep you safe. Uh, you want to stay out of the line of sight as much as possible. Obviously, that makes the most sense, but... Uh, Considering the action that's going on around you, it's hard to keep track of things, so... As you can see, I find myself all along, alone now. Uh, so, again, if you're on your own, or even in a group, you can circle around, kind of use the pillars for cover. Uh, keep an eye on the boss. Don't stay in one spot too long. Keep moving around. Now is where you want to use your uh, heavy weapons, if you've been holding on to them. You can see me trying to get a couple snipes in here, but again, you want to keep moving. You don't want to get trapped. Uh, he's almost dead here. Some more shots should do it. And there we go. That is the inverted spire. Uh, can be kind of difficult, I guess, depending on uh, your loadouts and how you're playing. Otherwise, nothing too different than the normal Destiny Strike, but uh, helps to know what to expect. So, thank you for uh, watching, and good luck on your own inverted spire strike. Switch off.